Hello, Miss Joanne. I'm just going to make you a short video of what I think you're trying to accomplish. So, um, like I said, I emailed you about, you know, what build you're working with or what version of FTC you have. So what you can do is you check help, and go to about, and it tells you what build you have. Um, I think it was 3792. You at least need that one. This 3811 is um, the current build, but it didn't do much. It only allowed people that have Apple tablets uh, to draw for sketch a stitch. So anyway, you need at least 3792, if not 3811. All right, so what I think you're trying to accomplish is you're going to use wordplay, this little icon here. I think you said you use the uh, baby onesie right here. And you want to make that whatever size you want. Let's just say six inches. Um, and then you're going to type words. Uh, you know, whatever you want to type in here. Uh, you know, baby. And want to put a comma between the words. Um, I don't know, happy. Um, joy, and you could put the baby's birth date, name, whatever. Um, let's put, oh, Kathy is the baby's name. I don't know. Anyway, and you can choose what font you want to use uh, for that. Oh, I don't know. We're just going to stick with Anna. That sounds good. And you can decide what height you want those uh, letters to be in your text. Um, paths, maximum colors. Oh, I don't want to be changing thread forever, so I'm just going to say maybe five colors here. Um, how many paths do you want? That's a lot of paths. 200. Oh, let's say 10. No, let's say 20 paths. All right, and you can change the angle if you want all the words to be horizontal, or if you want them all to be vertical, or if you want them to be diagonal, or mixed. And we'll just click Generate see what happens. There we go. So we probably need a few more paths, don't we? So let's say maybe 50 paths and see what we get, then generate again. Wow, that's sure not giving me very many, is it? I wonder why it's putting them all together. Hmm. I thought if you put, maybe let's try something like this. I thought if you put a common between it would mix them up. Let's try that and see what we get. Oh, I guess that's what you got to do. You got to put them in a single line. Okay. Um, so you could keep generating until you get it how you'd like. See in 3D here. And that's quite a few paths. Let's take that back down to 20. And you've probably already done all this. So let's just keep going here and see what we get. That looks good. You know what? Let's do it again. And maybe again. And every time you generate it, it fills it up a little different. That looks good. So we're going to say OK. And right now, this shape type, this shape right here, is artwork. You can change it to a run or a steel stitch, but we're going to leave it artwork. Say so, OK. Okay, and so what we need to do is we need to t take that artwork, and you can still move things around if you want once you get it here. You know, play around with it. Anyway, you get that idea. You're going to take that artwork and you're going to turn it into an applique, but you'll notice that. The artwork is first. Okay, so let's click on our little icon here. The looks like a quarter circle porcupine looking icon. Click there. And now we have an applique, but it's last. So we want it first. So we're just going to click this double arrow to bring it up to the top. And there we go. And we can take and put that artwork to sleep because we don't need it anymore. So here's how it's going to stitch. It's going to stitch an outline so you know where to put the fabric. So in your hoop, what you would have, you've got a couple options here. So if you're going to fill the center of this baby onesie with fabric, 
your patch the center with fabric um, you can use wet and gone in your hoop I would use two layers um, and then just uh, stitch this directly on the wet and gone okay and then you'll put your fabric that you want in the center on top of that stitching and let me slow it down a bit here and we'll continue stitching so there's your placement line and then it's going to stitch a tack down slash cutting line so this is the line you'll cut that fabric out now you can also put uh, power mesh or no-show mesh in the hoop that patch you would have to cut out um, which is an option too you can either cut it out with a heat burning tool or with scissors carefully all right so then we'll just move it along here because this is going to take a little bit longer it'll do a satin stitch and then all of our words okay now some options you do have let's select that applique um, let's bring our um, properties box down I mean our sequence view down um, you can mess with that applique stitch for a patch I kind of like it a little wider you know just in case I clip a stitch or two something like that you can adjust um, the corner types uh, maybe you want them round instead of pointed and uh, that didn't work out so well on that one did it uh, let's try bevel let's see what works out yeah, that's kind of nice anyway so things you can play with with your applique so then it would stitch all the names in the center okay now if you wanted to stitch the names first and then the satin stitch what you could do is you open up that applique click on it right click and break it up so now it's three separate pieces and you can take that satin stitch and use the double hour to bring it down to the bottom so now it's going to stitch the placement line the tack down line you'll cut it out you'll stitch the words and then the satin stitch will stitch last now at this point if you're all done stitching you can if you've stitched it on the power mesh I would also use two layers of that a single layer is really tricky in a hoop because it tends to pull um, to the center on the sides of the hoop anyway you could cut it out with scissors or you could use a heat craft tool to cut it out or if you used wet and gone you could cut out the majority of it and then just take them I take a sponge and just kind of rub it on the edges here that have a little bit of the wet and gone left one of those like mr. clean spongers or whatever and just rub it there and that wet and gone is gone alrighty so I think that's what you're trying to do so let me know if that's just not anything close to what you're trying to do so thanks